Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today, I'm gonna talk about Hytale again. And this is going to be a little different, because today, I am going to be talking about my upcoming game mode and server network, Blockshot. Alright, so in the past, I said that I was gonna be starting up a server network called Subio, because my current Minecraft server is called SubioCraft, but I decided, you know what? Pretty much all the game ideas I've had thus far involve guns in some way, so why not just call it the Blockshot Network? So that is what we are going to do, and today, I would like to describe the game modes that are going to be on this future server, and the most recent blog post talked about server technologies. Now we know that in order to make plugins slash mods, you are going to need Java, which is something I am very proficient in. So to start off, this network is going to consist of quite a few games, the first round of which are all going to be multiplayer, shoot 'em up type of game modes. We're talking about Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Search and Destroy, Domination, Capture the Flag, Ground War, you get the point. <laughs> I'm not gonna name any games here, but I think you guys know what we're talking about. Anyway, the second round of games is going to be Zombie Wave Survival. So it is going to be a, of course, there will be zombies, waves of them, and your goal as the player will be to survive with your buddies in a co-op experience and get as far as you possibly can. And the third game mode is going to be an apocalypse survival game that will be called Apocalypse. <laughs> and in this game mode, you will be adventuring around an open world. There will be skills, levels, and tons of weapons to find, guns included, of course. The Fallout franchise comes to mind. I am allowed to say that because it is going to be heavily inspired, but not too similar to the Fallout games. The other game modes, however, are very similar, but of course, we will be putting our own spin on everything. So those are the game modes. Now, what specifics are there going to be in this game? Well, for one thing, before I say anything, there will be zero game-altering microtransactions. All microtransactions will be for either character skins or gun skins, or some other thing that is not related to gameplay. So you're not going to be able to open any crates to get special guns. There are going to be special variants of guns, but you will only be able to get them through challenges. That's what makes this so cool. I'm excited to say that the server will be completely free to play and it will not be pay to win. There is a website planned. One thing I should note is that in order to get this project to work, we are gonna need people. So for one thing, we are going to desperately need an artist that is willing to draw up a logo, some banners, maybe an animation if they have the skills, a whole bunch of stuff that could be put in videos or on a website or advertised on a web page or in the server list or something it would be really really cool if we can find an artist and i should know everything that is going to be done for block shot will be paid oh, of course if you want to do things free you can do that too but if you request pay and it's reasonable we will pay you additionally we are looking for map designers in another blog post we saw how the animating tools will work so anybody that has experience in something like blender or cinema 4d or they're really good with pixel art it would be great if you contacted us as well and of course we need developers as i said everything's going to be in java so most specifically anybody that's worked on a spigot plugin before a craft bucket plugin in minecraft would be a prime candidate because I can imagine it will be a very similar development experience. Anyway, with that out of the way, yeah, definitely please contact me. On Discord, I am 30virus, hashtag 7305. You can also find me hanging around the 30virus botnet Discord, which I might as well plug right now. It is the hub for all things 30virus, as well as a Hytale discussions chat and we get to share a whole bunch of information. You can ask me questions about the game, you can supply video ideas if you like, ideas for the game itself. We talk about all sorts of crap, but anyway, if you want to contact me just casually or for business reasons, that is where to go. So there's already a lot more planned for this game. So not only do we have the game modes already thought about, but we actually have a comprehensive list of maps and features that are going to be in the multiplayer as well. So in the multiplayer slash run and gun segments of the game, we are going to have the following maps, which I might as well put up on the screen. They are going to be called Airport, 
rooftop, crash site, oil rig, junkyard, no man's land, nuclear, shooting range, fountain, telecom station, transit, sports stadium, billionaire property, forest, telecom, and floating city. Uh, these are the ideas. If you're looking on the screen right now, you can probably see where all of these maps are inspired by. We might do a theme change, but for right now, that's what we got. Don't be surprised if half of them change name and theme, but the general shape of the maps is what we're going for because the gameplay in other games was very, very good. As for uh, the different weapons in the game, I, hashtag, I'm gonna get demonetized for saying all these names, but it is worth it. So, um, as for weapons, we are going to probably name them something different, but again, we are going for gameplay feel on this. Uh, for the assault rifles, we are going to have the Scar H, the M16, the FAL, the FAMAZ, ACR, Galil, Commando, AK-47, which is already in the game, and <laughs> a Marksman's Carbine. This one's actually inspired from Fallout New Vegas, and it is a gun called the All-American. Anybody that's ever tried it would know that the gunplay is extremely satisfying. As for the SMGs, we have the UMP-45, the MP5, the Thompson, the MP40, the P90, the Mini Uzi, and of course, the PPSH. Snipers, the Intervention, the Car 98K, the sniper from the Halo games that has pinpoint accuracy, although it shoots pretty slowly, and the M21 EBR. Then we have energy weapons. Again, from Fallout New Vegas, we have a few inspired from there. We have Pew Pew, which is a two-shot laser pistol that does quite a lot of damage, but it only has two shots, hence the name Pew Pew. We have the recharger rifle, which has infinite ammo, but the damage and durability is pretty low. In something like a multiplayer mode like this, durability won't really matter. So in that case, it will probably just be really low damage, high rate of fire. The hollow rifle, again, from Fallout New Vegas. This one is really neat because it shoots holograms at people and does damage that way. Uh, the Spartan laser, again from Halo. <laughs> And this one's really neat. It's a it's an instant kill, but it has a charge up for the attack. And then of course the railgun. Pretty much all of these weapons are from non Call of Duty games. The railgun will use magnets to propel a rod extremely fast, and it will impale your enemies. And whatever body part it hits will probably end up continuing to fly and then stick into the wall. Pretty neat. And then finally we have LMGs. The RPK, the HK-21, the AUG HABAR, or HBAR, and the FG-42. Pretty solid, if you ask me. I am not much of a user of heavy weapons, but even I can appreciate how solid of a list that is. Now for the secondaries, we have what are called pseudo-pistols, so they're not necessarily like your typical pistol. Anyone that's played the Call of Duty games would know why. We have the G-18, the Rafika, the Executioner, and the RW-1. <laughs> Uh, so G18 and the Rafikas are burst weapons, the Executioner is a shotgun pistol, and the RW1 is a really high damage, low rate of fire, one shot pistol. Handguns, the M1911, the 5.7, the M9, the Hunting Revolver from Fallout New Vegas, and the Deagle. And the Hunting Revolver comes with an eyeglass, and you can toggle long range or just using the iron sights like a normal person. And now for shotguns, we have the Remington 870, the Spaz 12, the Riot shotgun, we have the KSG, uh, the Model 1887, and the AA-12. The Riot shotgun, it is basically like it's got a drum mag, it's semi, it shoots pretty fast, but it does low damage compared to the other shotguns. So, kind of like a brecci. And then we have the launchers, the stinger, the javelin, the china lake, and the RPG-7. Pretty standard list, I would say, on that one. And then we have special. We have a bow, a shield, and then the shield actually has a special variant with a sword. So you can have a shield and sword, like a medieval soldier. And then a blow dart, which is basically like the ballistic knife. We have some other ones in the works. I think we're going to have something called an ultimate gun game. And... In this Ultimate Gun game, we are thinking about potentially having the Gravity Gun, the um, the LMG from Half-Life with the Bouncy Vaporizer thing, I don't know what it's called, a lightsaber, a fork and a spoon, and the Portal Gun. How insane would that be? Anyway, let's not give that one too much time, because that's not really confirmed yet. And that gives a total of 52 weapons! Uh, I should probably let you guys know some of the mechanics of the game. For example, it's going to be the classic run and gun, respawn at the, edge of the edges of the map. Uh, there's going to be one-shot melee attacks, so none of that 
two-shot crap. The weapons are only made available after leveling up. Prestige tokens can be unlocked, which means once you prestige, you can permanently unlock anything from the list of weapons. So if you really like the high level weapon and you don't want to level up all the way to the top level to get it, then there you go. <laughs> and then there will be weapon skill levels, which will dictate how you get the attachments. Of course, we haven't determined the attachments yet, but it's going to be pretty standard. There'll be different sights, there'll be grip, there will be advanced rifling, there will be... Um, maybe a heartbeat sensor, which is affectionately called the baby monitor in the old games. <laughs> uh, who knows? We haven't figured that out yet, but that's going to be more close to development being done because all the weapons will be in the game at that point. As far as creative class is concerned, we'll be using the pick 10 system, which means you get 10 points and every weapon, every attachment, every perk is one point. Uh, we might use more than 10 points. We will see. Maybe it'll be a pick 12. I don't know. Certain weapons will have built-in attachments, like a silencer or extended mags. There will be special weapon variants, as I said before, but instead of getting them through crates, like in Advanced Warfare, um, for example, right, it's just like the ones from Advanced Warfare, where it's like, alright, this weapon has minus one mobility, plus one range, something like that. Or it's plus one range and plus one... Uh, mobility, but it's minus two on um, on fire rate, something like that. So there'd be weapons that have pluses and minuses that promote different play styles. And instead of getting them through crates, you unlock them with challenges, and then you can, you know, implement them into your class. Of course, there will be weapon skins and player skins, some of which will be unlockable using in-game challenges. But this is where the um, the money-making aspect comes in. Some of them can be purchased. Of course, the server has to stamp somehow. So that is going to be one of the ways we monetize the platform. We are also thinking about skins for the grenades and stuff to look funny. Maybe even the kill and death messages. You get the point. All right. So continuing on, let's go to the lethals. So we did the primary weapons, secondary weapons. Now we have lethals. So the frag bomb, otherwise known as frag grenade, Zemtex, Molotov cocktail, sticky bomb, C4, a throwing knife, and a claymore. We might add one or two more, but that's what we have so far. And then for support, we have a flash slash concussion grenade. We are going to nerf the crap out of it, though, because in uh, the Call of Duty games, they are quite annoying. Uh, there's going to be a smoke grenade, which will be buffed because they are underused and not really that useful in the original games. Tactical insertion, which allows you to respawn at one point, uh, at a particular point. Uh, and then regeneration potion, which gives you healing for a brief time. This is kind of like Minecraft in that way, but it's also like Advanced Warfare, if you guys remember the stim, uh, exo stim. And then speed, which again is exo speed. The perks are yet to be decided, but we are going to be using MW2 and Black Ops 1 as the main inspiration for the perks, just like we have with everything else. Uh, this is going to be, you know, lightweight. This is going to be Commando Pro, probably. We might come back with the pro versions of different uh, perks. We will see. And then for kill streaks, this is all Anthony. If you guys know who Anthony is, he's a good friend of mine that plays a lot of Call of Duty. All of the kill streaks were determined to be the UAV, RCXD, Care Package, Counter UAV, Sentry Gun, Precision Strike, Predator Missile, Flamethrower, Harrier Strike, Emergency Airdrop, Stealth Bomber, Pavlo, Chopper Gunner. AC-130, dogs, and finally, nuke. And some work in progress ideas that we have uh, is that we will have some sort of rocket jumping or fireball jumping mechanic. Maybe the RPG-7 will have a crazy amount of knockback to you but not do that much damage. Who knows? And then maybe we can have match mutators, which basically can be voted on and everybody gets a special benefit for a specific game only if everybody votes for it and it will come up rarely, so it will be a treat. Uh, to those that are playing the game. Kind of like in Sky Wars, if you guys have ever played Hypixel Sky Wars. Uh, so, for example, bunny hopping, like in Advanced Warfare, having like the, uh, having the exosuit. Anyway, I've run this video way too long, so leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Of course, for the zombies mode, there is, um, of course, going to be the same weapons. Uh, s there won't be perks. There will be, though, uh, perk machines. So, like, Juggernog, Speed Cola, all that. So, you know, Double Tap 2.0, not 1.0, because we don't need that crap. Mule Kick, all of those, obviously. And then for the Adventure Game Mode, there is a lot that is yet to be decided. What would you like to see in a Fallout-esque, um, post-apocalypse MMORPG. Very interested to see what you guys say in the comments down below. But anyway, that is the plan for Block Shot. Make sure to watch out for it. Anybody that also is told to watch out for Subio, I think that is going to then become the name of the development team. So the development team is going to be called Subio. 
but the actual game itself, the server, will be called Blockshot. Well, anyway, join the Discord server, the 30 Virus Botnet, if you would like to get more updates for Hightail, if you'd like to get updates on Blockshot, and any uploads that I make, just in case you miss the YouTube notification bell. Anyway, that is it, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.